In this video, I'm gonna get you started on doing your practice problems for our mole-mole ratio problems. So the first thing you're gonna need is a balanced chemical equation. So this chemical equation, one, three, two, when balanced, I always like to write in the one, especially for these types of problems because it makes it a little bit easier. And now we've got five questions based off this balanced chemical equation. So uh, question A, set or one, says, how many moles of hydrogen are needed to completely react with two moles of nitrogen? Well, nitrogen is this and hydrogen is this. This would be called uh, nitrogen trihydride. So naming does play a, a factor in these types of problems, but it's not too bad. So for this, I would just put a, they want hydrogen. So that's my, I would go X over three and then two moles of nitrogen. So two over one. So I do two over one nitrogen equals X over three hydrogen cross multiply and I get 6 moles of hydrogen. That's pretty straightforward. Um, B is basically the same problem as is C. I'm going to do D just to get you started. Uh, I'll do one of each type, but there's really only two types of questions here. So D says, how many liters of nitrogen trihydride can be produced using 24 liters of nitrogen gas? So 24 goes over the nitrogen. If you remember, for liters only, we can plug them directly into these ratio problems and they work out fine. If you were using mass, then it does not work. You have to use the mole formula first. Again, we're not doing that on this video. Uh, so I go 24 over one nitrogen and they want nitrogen trihydride. So that would be X over two NH3. Cross multiply, solve for X and you get And there it is. So attached to this, I'm going to include a partial answer key where I give you the answers for probably like problems one and two. There is a back. You're going to have to do the back all on your own uh, and then use one and two as a guide. If you're doing one and two right, uh, then there's no reason to assume that you're doing three, four, and five wrong. Um, you're going to be doing them right as well. They're all pretty much the same problem. They just use different ratios. Just be careful if you balance the equation wrong, then all your work's going to be wrong because you're going to be using the wrong ratio to do to base your problems off of.